What? <laughs> Let me uh, go to a little quieter, more quiet spot. So the accessory I recommend for any inflatable paddleboard, whether it be a Hala or any brand, is an electric pump, a 12 volt pump that will inflate its board entirely. Whether you're just paddling one board that you're pumping up regularly or a fleet, having a 12 volt pump will make the worst part of inflatable paddle boarding that much easier, the inflating part. If you have to hand pump it, you're probably not gonna inflate it to its max, which means you're just not gonna get the best performance out of a board. So even though hollow only requires you to inflate the board to 15 PSI, which isn't a whole lot, it's a lot less than most other brands out there, get a pump that's an electric that will allow you to inflate, walk away, set it and go, and off you go. The thing about inflating paddle boards is a little trick with the valve. Here you have this nipple. Push down to deflate, leave up for inflating. When you're using any pump to inflate it, make sure that nipple is up. If the nipple were down, you can inflate the board in, in its entirety, but as soon as you take the, the pump hose off, you're gonna lose a lot of air. So before you pump, make sure the nipple is up. And with the 12 volt pumps from Hala, it's a two stage pump. The first stage is gonna sound like a vacuum cleaner. When it kicks into the second stage, it's gonna sound like a vacuum cleaner who's having a heart attack. So a lot of people will turn it off at that second stage thinking the pump is broken. Let it go until it reaches its max. So set the dial to what you want. Hala recommends 15, so you can inflate more. And off you go. Just like that. So Lindsay over there says that it's not a nipple, it's a pin. I think it's a nipple. It's definitely a nipple. No, uninflatable paddleboard. Is it a nipple or is it a pin? It's a pin! It's a nipple. What is it called? It's called a nut, not a nipple, not a pin. It's a nut. It's a nipple. Like I said, the first stage sounds like a vacuum cleaner. And that first stage lasts a few minutes while it's getting its basic rigidity. Then it, it will kick into that second stage and inflate for about seven minutes for your typical six inch thick board. No more than 10 minutes for most of Hollis fleet to inflate entirely. That's the second stage. That's fine. Even though it does sound like a vacuum cleaner having a heart attack, it's fine. Let it go and you won't need to touch that until it reaches its max inflation. I have it set for 15 PSI. Set it and go. Let it let the board inflate to its back. Yeah. 